The man, identified only as Paul T. of Pueblo, bought his ticket in, ticket in Littleton, happened to recheck the numbers again recently, and bam, big winner. You're looking at the check. The extra money is going to help his family, who is going through three major surgeries and a child in college. Even with this extra cash, Paul says he's still going to be working five days a week until retirement. Well, this is new tonight. Some athletes are criticizing the International Olympic Committee for prohibiting political protests on the medal podium. Olympic officials have reminded athletes to not make political statements at the Tokyo Olympics. Many athletes are expected to attempt to make statements on issues ranging from Brexit to the U.S. presidential election, global inequality, and climate change. Hundreds of Colorado Springs residents spent the day in Manitou Springs for the annual fruitcake toss. I absolutely love this. The event started back in 1996. Pretty simple origin story. People just started throwing fruitcakes in the park and that's how it all started up. Folks were asked to bring non-perishable food items with them in exchange for a ticket. It's just fun to enjoy watching everybody throw the fruitcakes, run with the fruitcakes and just have a good time out here in Manitou. This is a legendary event. The event has been going strong for 24 years now. Well, how about some more good news? Still to come on 11 News, find out how the girls at one Colorado high school are lifting each other up with a unique idea. And if you were hoping to take some of the DMV business online this weekend, you're going to have to play the waiting game. Details on why some online services are down and when they're expected to be back up. You're watching KKTV 11 News with Tony Keith. Meteorologist Lucy Bergman with your certified most accurate forecast. And Richie Cozzolino with sports.